expectation is that certainly City Hall, I don't know about the council, but I know our leader, the, the new mayor, understands the importance of the vitality of the real estate industry. And he understands it in the most basic sense. We need the revenues that real estate produces in order to keep the city going. I mean, it's pretty close to 50% of all the tax revenue connect, collected in the city. And I think the mayor would, would back the idea that they want to keep that uh, income stream healthy. So I know that he appreciates that, and I know he's an appreciator of new development, and that that is a key part of it as well. That uh, there, I always say there's nothing like the magic of a new, uh, new commercial building in my, in my case, where you know one day you've got a bunch of little taxpayers, and the next day you know that collectively pay under a million dollars in taxes. Three years later, you've got a building that's paying you 15, 16, 17 million dollars in taxes. That's the kind of magic trick that only new development can produce in the city. So I think that you're going to see support for that. I think the real estate industry cares about affordable housing, but they also understand that you can't link affordable housing to every single thing. That there are, there are a certain basic economics that it's very simple. If, if a building doesn't pencil out, you're not going to be able to get financing for it. So you can't just add uh, the requirement for um, affordable housing like icing on top of, uh, of everything that's done. On the other hand, a really thoughtful, focused program that creates different levels of affordability is something that our industry has been, has always embraced. The 80-20 program was beloved, and everybody wishes it was, you know, still in place. Um, and so I think that's a priority.